Hi. Okay, so I was looking for another uh, control devices for my Google Home. Since uh, to control a small application like I don't know a flashlight or a special things that I want to control uh, with my electronic and I don't want to use a, a big uh, box that is connected to uh, 220 volts so I found these models that uh, should be also son of devices uh, with a relay and a galaxy type connector for a power 5 volts and uh, let's say let's see if uh, I can control uh, these devices so I've downloaded uh, the EW uh, link the E link application and now I will try to add the device and we'll see if this is working uh, so we have a quick pairing so the quick pairing is uh, my uh, password and username and then it is now searching for the device I'm not sure if it is in the prayer mode because it's arrived without any manual but I guess that it should work like the other son of devices meaning if it will not find it I will press one of the buttons that are nameless to find it so let's try and wait to see what happens okay so I'm searching I don't see that it is finding anything so let's try to press one button and one press ah this look uh, this looks something that I'm familiar with this is the uh, blinking the fast blinking so maybe it will find while using the fast blinking device maybe the other button is just the on off of the relay uh, let's try to find out by the way I see that I have additional 5 volt connector so this is just a normally open and normally closed relay it is now trying to pair from the phone Look, it looks like it's too long so let's see if I have the device on the Wi-Fi and I don't so I don't know what I'm doing because it arrived without any manual so maybe I will try another long press aha hope you can see that the blinking now is somewhere oh this is IT okay when I see the IT, I'm sure it will be able to connect. No, I don't need to use it from here. I need to connect it from the EW link. So I will try again the quick pairing. Hopefully now it will find the device. And it did. Okay, so it is found. Okay, it is now doing the pairing. The pairing probably the transfer some data ah, and it is registering by a device, so I will call it a relay 5 volt a number one and then got it got it oh great 
now I can control the device. So, as you can see, it, it is the first time I uh, decided to do it using the video with you uh, now to show you that the uh, way to do it is pretty simple. Now I can go to the settings and like every son of uh, I, I will do maybe a zoom out be able to see my phone so I have a schedule a timer a loop timer and a big button uh, to activate on and off it is giving me some the firmware can be upgrade let's go to the device settings so let's go to the device settings and do the firmware upgrade probably yes it is from from 2.6.1 to uh, 3.0.1 hopefully this is not ability for Chinese to hack better my Wi-Fi at home but uh, you are doing it on your own risk and if you want to avoid all this firmware upgrade what you can do of course is uh, later to try to work is with a Raspberry Pi which I will do it much later after my whole automation will be fully working and then I will try uh, to change everything to inside a uh, network without using all the Chinese accounts in order to uh, work it to make it work so the firmware is now uh, up updating Upgrading firmware, please do not do not uh, stop the application. <coughs> you can see that you have many blinkings. Hopefully the firmware will be changed the number here 2.6.1 will change to 3.0.1 in a minute or so and it did latest version the firmware was updated okay so i've updated the firmware still working now i will show the process to edit uh, to google home so if you're already set with your google home so what you need to do is of course to go to your google home which mine is not here is somewhere on the main screen here now let's see if it will see the device no it is not seeing the device so in this situation what you have to do is to remove your EW link and then add it again and it will find it with the new uh, switches that you have entered so I will show how to do it. So we will go to maybe settings and now settings. Add a device. Now I want to see the current devices. So the current devices. Ah, it is okay, okay. I think I remember how to do it. We will go to 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 in the ad yes it should be in the ad in set up a device we will set up the home devices no i don't want to do it like this okay but here i can see that i have my uh, smart willing so i am now if you will see there are seven devices maybe I will do a, a little zoom on the phone so it will be seen better so I have now a uh, seven it's hard because I you know it's look like different than I see it okay so I have the smart uh, willing so I will now unlink the account yes yes I want to unlink 
the seven devices and then I will add it again and I will have more devices so so now it is off by the way this is a bug because it is still seen here but if I touch it again so it's unlinked the account now I'm going back and I'm searching from the smart we link and now I'm registering it again okay so what I found out that I tried to connect it to the wrong uh, e willing account so now I fix it and now it is in my Google Home and I will show you that I can control it or control it with the application turn it on and off I will put so we'll be able to see the LEDs also so look at the LED here and also ah the LED is <laughs> out from the camera so now look at the LED here so again I'm controlling it or I can control it of course without the application through a, a voice uh, with the name that I've called it so I call this one a uh, relay 5 volt number one so I will show you hey Google turn off relay 5 volt number one again hey Google Turn off relay 5 volt number 1. Sure, turning relay 5V number 1 off. And again, hey Google, turn on relay 5 volt number 1. You got it, turning relay 5V number 1 on. So this will give you a solution for other things that you want to control and you want let's say to build uh, a small uh, boxes uh, to control specific things like flashlight or maybe cameras or things uh, at the garden if you have a garden uh, outside uh, uh, your house and of course uh, pretty good and uh, I'm satisfied with the results by the way, there is, the relay is up to uh, 10 amps. I wouldn't use this maybe this application to control uh, 220 volts, although I can see they did some separation between the main power and the output power. But you know, this is not a professional, uh, let's say, board to control a uh, high power or 220 volts but I would use it to small application as uh, I have described. So hope you enjoyed this one. I will put a link in the, in the description and you can support uh, my channel and uh, buy the direct uh, from the links that uh, I am putting in from eBay or Amazon and uh, you get a good price and I get uh, some percent from uh, uh, the buys that uh, uh, you do and uh, that's all for now hope you enjoy thank you and bye